As we start to get closer to the release of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker, uh, we're starting to hear these bits of rumors and news and all of that type of stuff that there are troubling things happening with the shooting of the film and all of that type of stuff. And it sounds like there are definitely some issues with the movie, which doesn't really come to a surprise to many of us. But we're going to be getting into this article here. So Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker reshoots are happening, apparently. Um, as it, it is, as the saying goes, a dark time for the Rebellion and for everyone else involved in the Star Wars franchise. As things are astonishingly quiet out there right now, could it be that the silence persists because everyone is working on projects in the lull between Star Wars Celebration and D23? Perhaps the looming shadow of Comic-Con International in San Diego is soaking up the conversation in the nerd sphere. Or maybe there's just nothing to actually talk about right now when it comes to Star Wars. Well, nothing aside from the news below, of course. So, that's probably more of the case. There's probably uh, not very many people that are actually excited about this, this final episode. And I think that that's probably the case. I don't think there is as... There, I mean... Just um, just looking as, at it from the perspective of a casual Star Wars fan, I can already tell that there is nowhere near the amount of excitement for this episode of Star Wars as there was for, say, The Force Awakens or even The Last Jedi, who a lot, there, a lot of people were excited for The Last Jedi before it came out. And uh, even just, like, general audience members, doesn't really seem like there's that much hype around the movie. The Rise of Skywalker reshoots are on. Uh, source multiple online outlets it would certainly appear to be true and definitely checks out in terms of timeline before the movie gets released now this is the scary bit of news here apparently additional shoots are underway for star wars the rise of skywalker with a couple of sources reporting that black park in the uk has been closed off for either reshoots or pickups with an x-wing fighter being part of the additional shots apparently there's a notice that the sh shoot might continue through early september September, which feels unexpectedly late considering the movie is scheduled to hit theaters in December. If true, expect some very late nights for editors and the visual effects team. But don't worry, after the movie having reshoots this late in the game, these days such things are common so this is unlikely to be some kind of Rogue One situation where the entire movie gets significantly changed after the first pass at production. Now, there's a, uh, you know... <sighs> Reshoots don't automatically mean that a movie is going to be bad. So let's just get that right out of the, right right out of the way. Um, but when you have reshoots that are happening this late, right before product or right before the movie's release, I mean September. That's like what only like three months before the movie's supposed to come out. That is really really close to when the movie is supposed to be releasing, which of course in turn makes it a lot more difficult for the editors well for the whole post-production team to be able to work on the movie and get the things done that they need to get done for the movie for it to be released now the question is why are these reshoots happening could it be that that uh, it has something to do with Lucasfilm? Uh, maybe there's like some things that Kathleen Kennedy wants changed, or you know whoever her new assist assistant is. I don't even remember her name off the top of my head. Or maybe it's something that J.J. Abrams has thought about changing and stuff. Who knows what the actual reasoning is behind these reshoots? But um, I, I kind of have a feeling that it might have something to do with, uh, possibly even the trailer for the, for Star Wars and all of that stuff that came out for Star Wars Celebration. Maybe some of the things that people have been saying kind of in the general Star Wars community about the movie and about the trailer and based on the trailer and all that stuff. Who knows? Who knows what could be the cause for this, but it is really interesting that we're getting this these reshoots happening this late in the game which is never really a good sign in my opinion um so let's see here expect an unexpected adventure in rise ray herself Disney, daisy ridley probability of accuracy this is vague enough to be easily explained away in multiple directions depending on what the finished movie is like so let's go with accurate for now daisy ridley who's currently doing press for her appearance in ophelia has been teasing the upcoming rise of skywalker in the vague vaguest of terms telling usa today genre wise it's different from the other two and salma's ridley has appeared in which will become clear when the film comes out it's quite emotional there's a different drive than the previous two films but there's a lot of fun i really miss 
John Boyega during the last one, but we're back together and now Oscar Isaac is a part of it. To me, it felt like kids going on an adventure. So for you out there who are actual like hardcore Star Wars films, how does that sound? How does that sound for a Star Wars film that is described as kids going on an adventure? I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it, because you could say technically that that's kind of the the same as um, A New Hope. You know, that's kind of what A New Hope was about, was about this farmer kid going on an adventure. So I guess as far as that goes, there's nothing unique there. Um, but I also think it's really interesting how she talks about how she really missed John Boyega in the last one, which is really funny because John Boyega was totally disserviced in the last movie, in The Last Jedi. He did not get the proper treatment in that movie. He barely was in the movie at all, and when he was, he was just either a clown or he was in really, really dumb scenes like Hantobite, which is one of the worst subplots ever in movie history. Um... And so this is kind of interesting. I don't really know how I feel about this take that she's giving about the 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 mood of the movie, the the feeling of the movie. I guess we'll just have to wait and see when it comes out. But uh, she's talking that it's really emotional and it's kind of like kids going on an adventure, which I don't know. I don't know. I could see how J.J. Abrams could be just kind of doing another like copy paste type of thing with this movie, kind of making it. A little bit too much like the original trilogy again which wouldn't really be a good thing in my opinion um the worlds of rise of skywalker are hot and pretty blurry actually i don't know i don't know what what they mean by that but anyway so reshoots are happening and daisy ridley once again gives some interesting takes about the the process of these movies and stuff she's already come out and said some pretty interesting things about this trilogy and how she's been pretty disappointed with some of the things that has been happening especially with the last jedi so with that being said let me know in the comments below what do you think about this news regarding star wars episode 9 rise of skywalker hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you all very soon in another video talk to you later Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.